Today we're taking a closer look at this Japanese made stylus cleaner that claims to have more elasticity than a baby's skin. I kid you not, it's weird, but it works. More on this mysterious product coming up next. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM, the YouTube channel all about vinyl gear and more. Quick reminder for those of you on social media, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for tons more bonus content. Links are right below this video. Now, 33ers have been asking me for a while to do an episode all about turntable needles, stylized. I figured. I should do this at some point and what better way to kick off this topic than an episode about the Zero Dust. Now I recently picked up this product on Amazon and I'm kind of impressed. So let's dive into this. Let's drop the needle on today's episode. Now I would humbly suggest that keeping your stylus clean is just as important as proper record care or at least, at least a close second. That's because the stylus or needle is a crucial link between the grooves on your record and your ears. Which brings us to the Zero Dust. The Zero Dust is made in Japan by a company called Onzo which claims that their cleaning element is softer than a baby's skin and has 50 15 times more elasticity. Now, how they determine that, I probably don't want to know. Their literature also states that this mysterious material, their words, not mine, will never damage a delicate stylus. Now, this device is not cheap. I paid about $50 Canadian, which is equal to about $40 US. It's also a little bit smaller than I had imagined. It comes in this little case here and you pull the top off. And this is actually a magnifying glass, which you can use to take a closer look at your stylus. And right here, this is the zero dust itself. And it might be hard for you to make out, but this is actually the material it's made out of is sort of jelly-like for lack of a better description. Anyway, let's try this out. For this demonstration, we're going to clean a Nagaoka MP110 stylus. I've talked about the stylus before. I absolutely love it. And it is attached to my vintage Yamaha turntable. For this to work, you're supposed to lightly press your stylus tip once or twice onto the cleaning element and pull it up. So that's what we're doing right here. This mysterious jelly pulls and extracts the garbage off your stylus just like this. And that's really all there is to it. I thought it would be kind of cool to take a closer look at what was really going on here. So earlier today, I cleaned another stylus and I attached this mini microscope to my phone here and I took before and after photos at what was going on. Check it out. Here is a before shot of a great old black stylus. If you look closely, you can see all the dust and gunk on the stylus tip. Now, here is an after photo I took after using the Zero Dust. Here, you can see most of the junk has been removed from the stylus. I'm not sure how great these photos are going to look on YouTube, so to get a closer look, surf over to facebook.com slash channel 33 RPM after watching this video. I've posted the photos there. You can zoom in on them, share them, download them, whatever you want. So there you go, the Zero Dust does seem to do the trick, but is it really the ultimate stylus cleaner? Is it worth the price tag? That's really hard to say because there are various other techniques you can use. Up to now, myself, I've been using this groovy stylus cleaning fluid along with a special stylus cleaning brush. It should be noted some folks recommend against using any sort of alcohol on your stylus, including these specialty fluids. The argument is that the alcohol can dissolve the glue that holds the diamond tip of your stylus in place, and of course, we don't want that to happen. That said, I have not had any issues, and I've used this fluid for years. In terms of cleaning needles, other people swear by the magic eraser made by Mr. Clean. I haven't tried that particular technique, so I'm not going to weigh in on that. For the time being, I'm really, really digging the Zero Dust, but I want to live with it for a while longer and use it for a while longer before I offer my final judgment. At the very least, I'm going to keep it 
by my turntable and hopefully that'll encourage me to clean my stylus more often. Okay, 33 years now, it's your turn. What did you think of today's episode? What techniques do you use to keep your stylus styli clean? We would love to know, let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. You'll never miss another episode again. And if you are so inclined, check out the merch store for t-shirts like this and tons more. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.